What up, sneakerheads? This is KU. This week we've got all white, we've got some cough drops, we've got some infrareds, and we've got some OGs. Let's find out who they are and what they are on the Kicks on Fire weekly review. Coming in at number five is the Nike SB Zoom Stefan Janowski White Perf. Now these have an all white perforated leather upper, they have an all white vulcanized sole, they have white piping, they have white leather laces, and an all white leather tongue. Basically, they're all white shoes and they're killing the SB game. One of my favorite comments was from that pawn sauce, from that pawn sauce when he said, Tears of joy, the new skis are, Noskis, however you guys pronounce it, are so clean. And that pawn sauce, I absolutely agree. The shoes are ridiculous, the all white is killing the game. Now, coming in at number four. Coming in at number four is the Nike Air Max Penny One in the OG colorway. Now, before you get too excited, these are not set to release until 2011. I know. Why even show us the pictures this early? I feel the same way. I got excited when we posted it on the site. Now, they're supposed to retail for 125, and they're also supposed to release in a Phoenix Suns colorway. Either way it goes, I'm really angry they're not coming out to 2011. Now, this is according to some talk on Nike Talk, so we're not sure how official it is yet. But we just thought we would let you guys know. That's the Nike Air Max Penny One in the OG colorway, 2011. Word. Coming in at number three. Coming in at number three is the Air Jordan 9 in the white citrus and deep forest green colorway. Now the upper is all white with deep forest green taking over the, uh, the outsole, the tongue, and the lining. Now the citrus, it really starts to shine when you look at the laces on the Jumpman logo and on the 23 stitching on the heel. Now the deep forest green is really, really dark. Even in the pictures it almost looks black. But either way it goes, I like them. I think they're really dope. I like them better than the black and citrus ones that we featured here on the weekly review last week. Now, we don't know when these are set to release, but they're definitely hot. And from the comments, we had a comment from a Pitts Jordan fan. And he was saying how he really likes this colorway because in Pittsburgh, their colors are yellow and black and white for all of their sports team. So Pittsburgh Steelers fans, I think Jordan Brand made a Jordan just for you. So all you Pittsburgh folk, y'all stand up. Let's get it in. Word. Or something like that. I don't know what you guys do in Pittsburgh. It's probably the most controversial thing on the site, and it's the Nike Foam Posits Cough Drop. Now, technically, the colorway is a black and red ice. However, the translucent sole on the Foam Posit makes it look like a cough drop. Now, these are scheduled to drop on June 19th at House of Hoops, and based on their comments, you know, we've got like a three-way thing going on. Some people love them. Some people are angry because they look too much like the black and red ones they released a couple of years ago. And some people are on phone, plus, phone posit overload. And they're just like, yo, phone posits, all right, let's get over them. It's, it's all about hype. Well, either way, they're going to be available on June 19th at House of Hoops. And I'm sure we'll be there to check out those that are in line picking up their Nike phone posits cough drops, a.k.a. black and red ice. Now, before we get to number one, let's go to our honorable mentions this week. There are a couple of hot sneakers that I want to mention that we won't get a chance to get into here on the site, so I'll just give them a quick shout out. First up in the honorable mention is the Nike Air Max 95 in a gray, purple, and charcoal. Definitely dope, look nice, make sure you check them out. We'll put a link to them over here on the site. Number two in the honorable mention is the Nike Air Max LeBron 7 Dunkman. Now these are in a white and electric green. Definitely fly, check those out if you're into the Dunkmans or the LeBron Dunkman shoes. Definitely dope. Coming in at number one is the Air Jordan 6 Infrared Pack. Now these are the white and the black with infrared highlights. The white, it has an all leather upper and the black actually has new book and with infrared highlights. Now we also had a video review on this and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But in the comments, you guys were really upset about this shoe and it was mostly the black. Uh, many of you guys felt that the black was too close to the black and infra black and varsity reds that released a little while ago. So you said you weren't going to pick these up while others that missed the black and varsity red said they definitely were going to pick these up. Now these are available individually as the white pair or the black pair are both together as a pack. Um, we're assuming they're going to be priced about $150 so it'll be about $300 for the pack. So make sure you check that out. While we're talking about the Jordan Infrared Pack, let's take a look at a video review put together by E from Top Shelf Sneakers. The shoe is pretty much the same as the, uh, the Varsity. Uh, the upper is made, made of suede. Uh, the stitching is exactly the same. Uh, very good stitching all the way around, constructed pretty well on the front. 
you have the infrared jump man up top on the tongue and then the lace lock, infrared lace lock on the side of the shoe around the air pocket you have the infrared hit and then another one towards the front here on the back you have the infrared tab up top and the black jump man with the air under it as always, we want to thank you guys for checking us out here at kicksonfire.com. We know there's plenty of sneaker sites out there, so we appreciate you coming to us for your news. If you want to talk to us on Twitter, you can reach us at kicksonfire. If you want to talk to me personally, it's at Cousteau, at K-U-S-T-O-O. -O. Again, thank you guys for watching the weekly review, and we'll see you next week. Take it easy and be easy. Peace. I need music right here. Can we get some music?